I got another tutorial for you and this tutorial is about making pipes and breaks in pipes. So this is a new technique that I was working on the other day. So this little pipe system, and this is just a map section that I've grabbed from the current map that I'm working on. We've got these pipes that run on the roof and all these pipes are made out of simple primitive objects. So I'm gonna explain this and also explain how I made this broken pipe here that looks pretty awesome. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do to make a pipe is to create a brush. So if you go into your 2D view and you can rotate your 2D view around, you can change the perspective of your 2D by pressing control tab. And I'm just looking top down view and I'm going to draw a brush out here. So we've got this one little brush here. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here to patch primitives and cylinder. And this will turn the cube into a hollow cylinder. You can actually use shift and square brackets to increase the density of the cylinder just be wary that if you have a very big map and you're going to make it super high quality that making it very dense is actually going to lag the computer out but if you've got a small map then you can go a bit more accurate so it depends on how much is going on and what sort of object you're creating if you're making small pipes you might not need it as high quality but anyway we're just going to be working with this and let's drag this pipe out so i'm just going to drag it out like you drag any other brush if i press s and go to the surface inspector i'm just going to naturalize the texture and we might as well put a metal texture on there as well so i'm just going to search for metal there we go we've got a metal texture okay you can actually manipulate this object by pressing v bring up the verts you can select a section and then you can drag it around by holding alt so you can make any sort of piping system but anyway what we are here to do today is to show you how to make the end of a pipe. Say that you've made a pipe and you've just made a pipe by creating one and maybe you flipped it like this. And just be wary that when you flip pipes, it inverts the textures. So you wanna hit Control I to flip it back. But yeah, we have this pipe lined up and say I wanna have the end all broken off. You can see through it and it doesn't quite look right how it is at the moment. So what you can actually do is you can use something called the free scaling tool to actually make the end of this pipe. So if we just do Control C control V what we've done is we've made a copy in the same place so if I move it out of the way you'll see it's still there I'm gonna press control Z to put it back where it was and we're gonna press control I and now we have a pipe that has a texture on the inside and the outside but we're not done here yet what we're going to do is we're gonna press V and we're gonna grab these verts and this is how I make my ends of pipes so the first thing to note is I always leave the end section on its own. We got three sections of this pipe. We got the front, the middle and the end. If we grab the middle and just drag it out in front of the pipe and leave it there for a moment, then we want to grab the end piece and drag it just here into the pipe. And what we can do is use the free scaling tool by pressing shift, control, alt, E. It's quite a big hotkey. You can also go to selection, go down to scale and check the free scaling option. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you uncheck it once you're done, otherwise you won't be able to select anything. Then I'm gonna change the view so I can see the pipe better. And then I'm just going to click and drag the end piece into a point. So there's a good point there. Done with that, I'm gonna press Shift, Control, Alt, E to come back to the normal selection. And I'm gonna drag this point into the pipe. So I've dragged it into the pipe and now we're going to get that middle section that we dragged out earlier and just move it so that it's more in the middle. So there we go, it's in the middle. And now if we just change the views to make sure everything's in the right place. Okay, that's all good. We can see that it looks pretty cool. You're gonna to wanna to press S to go to surface inspector and just naturalize the texture. So it looks okay. So I'm gonna do that on both textures. And I'll see that it doesn't actually line up that well. We can improve that by moving the middle section closer to the pipe. So there we go. We can just drag that out to there and select both of these again. That looks pretty good. And move that middle section out a bit. You just wanna keep changing the perspectives to make sure that it's not coming through any of the walls but there we go so now in game view we have a pipe that looks like you know it looks like a normal pipe use an illusion 
to carry on forever and what you can do is you can select the end of the pipe and just hit W and what that will do is it will fix it into a point so that you don't see through the pipe and into nothingness so there we go when we're done with that you might want to add in a blend and to add in some water and you can simply do that select the inner piece that we made click in the camera view just to make sure that it copies and then do control c control v now if we go to t go to texture and i'm just going to use some blood so that you guys can see it better but you'll see that that's done the whole pipe so we're going to press v and just select the top half and press g and select the alpha option and blend it out and you'll see that now we have a pipe that has blood all over the base of it you might wish to just naturalize these textures so that it looks correct we got the other one there as well and um, we've got this one as well natural and now it looks like we have a pipe that has blood but the blood is dry and if you've seen my blood tutorial there's also a water layer that i also add to it so i'm going to add that in there we go we got some wet blood so awesome i'm going to just blend that water out a little bit so it looks even better yep that looks pretty good to me and now we have a bloody pipe so that's how i make the ends of my pipes it's just a simple effective way of making pipes so the next thing i'm going to show you is how i made these brackets for this piping so if we come over here you'll see these little brackets that hold the pipe on the ceiling and all i did to make these was i took the pipe so this is just a straight piece of pipe and then i copied and pasted it actually what i'm going to do is i'm going to move it over here next to this other pipe so we got this pipe here i'm going to make it a bit shorter as well just copy it Control c Control v and if we drag the ends in so i don't need that to be so far away same with that one let's drag this end in so we've got a small pipe inside this pipe and then we're going to use the free scaling tool again so the shift Control alt e and then if we just drag until we get a bulge there we go and then we're gonna just go back to normal selection and select the two end pieces and then make these ones smaller so you'll see that we've made it smaller than the pipe diameter itself now we're just going to move these pieces in closer so that it's more symmetrical like so and we've got a small joint in this pipe so we've made that small bulge and what we can do now is select this pipe do Control c Control v again we'll see that we want to rotate it and we want to rotate it on this x-axis so that it spins round that arrow so we can actually use this one here this rotate round x there we go and if we just line that up to that bulge we want to centralize that bulge as well so i'm just going to go down a grid there we go until it's a bit more central that looks better to me I'm going to move that piece more into the middle and that piece more into the middle so you might want to move the verts around to make it a bit more accurate so we've got this now and we're just going to make this piece of pipe smaller. So I'm going to drag it to the right size here then go above it and make it smaller like this. And I'm increasing the density by hitting shift n square bracket. So there we go. Got that on there. And that is how the pipe's going to be held up. So the last thing I will show you guys is to add detail to these pipes. So I'm first going to naturalize these. I'm going to select all of these pieces once i've got them all selected i'm just going to click in the camera view to prevent a glitch and then i'm going to do Control c Control v press t go to textures and i'm going to look for a rust texture you should find quite a few but i'm just going to pick this rust one here and if we press v and i'm going to hide the lines by pressing j and i like doing this when i'm detailing so if you select some of the verts and then press g and have the alpha option checked we're going to slide this along and this is just going to remove some of the rust on this pipe and we can remove it there as well so just drag this option around and you can actually add rust to the pipes as you see fit and might as well do it here as well and then i'm going to do what i did earlier with the end of the pipe so i'm just going to grab 
this pipe here. I press J to bring the lines back. I'm gonna do Control C, Control V, and then I'm gonna drag this end right up, and then I'm going to just grab the middle section, drag it out in front of it, and then grab the end section, and then use the free scaling tool to make that a smaller end. There we go, and gonna go back to the normal selection and awesome there we have it i might as well drag this piece further in but you see how that keeps its end we might want to just drag this around and play with this end here and that looks pretty good to me i'm going to press ctrl i so that it flips the texture going to go press s to the surface inspector and do naturalize and there we have it we have a pipe that's rusty and we have a joint that holds it up but anyway this is just how i make pipes if you've got a better way let me know so i can let everyone else know other than that i hope you enjoyed this tutorial take it easy everyone stay freezy and i'll catch you on the next one don't forget to smash a like and subscribe to this video if this has helped you out